In this lesson, we're going to be covering how to put all the expressions for the mouth so we can control the lip sync. Actually, we can just put any audio to this composition, any voice audio recording, and it's going to automatically sync. So let's do that. Let's go to this folder, the expressions folder, and open the mouth comp text file. Okay, let's see if we meet the requirements. Uh, this composition duration should be 40 seconds. Let's see if we have that. I pressed Ctrl K. 42 seconds, okay. Good. The Jimmy composition, okay, okay. Now, animation for... Ah, no, actually, I was talking about the mouth composition. Yes. It's 41 seconds, actually. Which is good, which is good. Then the animation for happy lip sync, that's what we did. This, the animation for happy lip sync and unhappy lip sync from 0 to 20 seconds and for tw from 21 to 40 seconds. Okay, all good. Now, the head control should be showing all these effects. Okay, so the best way to do that. Oh, and actually, wait, 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 wait. This is the head control. And. There's another requirement. I'm going to put it here live. Head. No, I mean this layer should be parented to no by head. Yes, because if not, we're going to run into all sorts of trouble. Yes, there it is. Head. Okay. You should have the corrected file. Now the head, I'm going to bring the head right beside the mouth so I can get data from it. Should be showing all these effects. Okay, it's the happy checkbox, then the audio amplitudes. Okay, so the best way is because I have a lot of switches and a lot of effects, I just double click on each one, the ones that I need. Amplitude, amplitude, and amplitude. Three amplitudes and the happy checkbox. Okay. Hey. Oh, you have to hold shift and double click to add. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I learned something today. Very good. And I don't need the position, so I just pressed Shift P. And that's it. That's happy and three amplitudes. Ah, but for each one, I need the, the checkbox and the sliders. Okay. Very good. Now, time remap. Okay. This is what I need to do. I need to select everything and copy, then put it on time remap for mouth composition. So this is mouth composition, and if I press Control Alt T, I'm going to get the time remap. And just delete the last keyframe. Select it and press delete. Now I'll click on the stopwatch for the time remap and paste. Let's put the data. From head control effect happy checkbox, I just have to pick whip. Pick whip the checkbox there. Now, this is for the audio amplitude slider. Okay. Audio amplitude slider. There you go. The next one is audio amplitude min okay audio amplitude min very good it's pretty straightforward this is not I think this is one this is one of the easiest and this is for max audio amplitude max and that's it yay that's all now let's see if that's all oh I have to use the position and all I have to do is copy and paste from eye control and reposition so just 
select eye control be careful it's not the eye layer is the eye control layer this one so I'm going to bring the position remember to bring out the expressions for that you have to click on this arrow then copy mouth select the mouth press P alt click on the stopwatch and paste there okay and when you do that remember it always change its position let's move this to here ah ah uh, yeah it's <laughs> hey don't be sad Aww. all you have to do is in here the one that controls e his emotion is the head control I'm going to bring this I'm actually I'm going to collapse everything there click outside and then in here I want him to be happy there now you can control this you see and that's it in the next lesson we are going to test the lip sync with an audio file which you can find in the project files folder I already know it's not going to work right away because you have to set up a min and a max amplitude but all of that is going to be covered in the next lesson see you there